Welcome to MTI TV. Today we're going to talk about sound reduction and sound reducing products. I'm joined by Sonia Mosti, our product manager for crack isolation and sound control membranes. Welcome Sonia and how are you? Thanks Sam, I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So are you ready to talk about sound reduction? Let's do it. All right, Sonia, I know MAPE is offering different categories of sound reduction products that provide added benefits such as crack isolation. However, today we're going to narrow our focus to sound reduction. So with all of these choices as an installer, where do you even start? Well, good question, Sam. There are a couple of different ways to go about this. We can start with sound ratings or the type of installation that you'll be doing. Interesting, interesting. So let's say I have an installation that requires a high sound rating. As an example, my son's a drummer in a heavy metal band. His bedroom's directly over my living room. My entire house is tiled, and I want to reduce the amount of noise that transfers from his bedroom floor through my living room ceiling. What can I do? Well, you can start by having a move out. I tried that. No, but seriously, in that case, your best bet would be to install our sound reduction membrane, Maposonic RM. This is a great product that is being specified all over the country. It's made from recycled tires, and depending on your floor ceiling assembly, Maposonic RM meets or exceeds most cities' building codes for acoustics. Okay, that all sounds great, and I'm pretty excited that I might not have to hear heavy metal drowning out my TV, but what are the sound numbers that determine whether you meet code or not? Well, IIC stands for Impact Insulation Class. A flooring assembly's effectiveness at preventing the transmission of impact noise is measured by its IIC. The higher the assembly's IIC rating, the better sound reduction it provides. Interesting. So when the bedroom mosh pit is up and running, um, I'm not going to hear it? Well, Maposonic RM will help with the foot impacts and the sound transmission, which are measured by IIC and STC. Okay, so I know what IIC is. What is STC? Well, an STC rating is a measure of sound transmission between the room above, treated with a sound mitigating material like Maposonic RM, and the room below. Essentially, the STC rating measures the ability of the underlayment and the finished floor to absorb airborne noise, which really is just energy. And the more noise that can be absorbed, the more they can prevent the sound transmission to the room below. Huh. I'm sold. So how is Maposonic RM applied? Well, Maposonic RM is easy to apply simply measure and pre-cut. Then adhere it to a properly prepared substrate using an appropriate MAPE adhesive. Maposonic RM can be applied under tile, wood flooring, or luxury vinyl tile. Hmm. And what are some of the other sound reduction products offered by MAPE? I know that not everyone needs to quiet the sound transmission of a nightclub slash mosh pit in their upstairs bedroom. Well, MAPE's Maposonic 2 and MAPAGUARD 2 both offer the convenience of peel and stick self-adhesive applications which can, which can save contractors time and money on the job. Uh, that's good, that's good. Cool. Can you tell us when and why I would use these products? Well, MAPAGUARD 2 is a peel and stick and easy to use. It is a crack isolation product that has some basic sound reduction properties. Hmm. Okay, and what about MAPASONIC 2? Sure, Maposonic 2 is a crack isolation product that meets all the sound ratings. It is also a peel and stick and easy to install. Its installation method is the same as MapaGuard 2, but Maposonic 2 provides even better sound mitigating properties. So we're looking at a good, better, best scenario? In a way, yes, but it really depends upon your application needs. Let me show you. These three concrete blocks simulate mini flooring assemblies on a concrete slab with tile on top. These assemblies demonstrate how the underlayment absorbs impact energy and consequently sound waves. Block one is just tile and mortar. There is no sound mitigating underlayment. So you can see how high the metal ball bounces. Wow. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Block two features Maposonic 2, which absorbs some of the sound energy and reduces the ball bounce factor. Okay. Hmm? And block three includes Maposonic RM. As you can see, the block with the Maposonic RM absorbs the most sound energy so that the ball barely bounces. Huh. So the mosh pit upstairs would be reduced to a dull murmur with Maposonic RM. Well, the sound waves would be absorbed with Maposonic RM, that's for sure. However, MAPE has several products that also provide great sound reduction. Not everyone needs to silence a heavy metal band, Sam. Yeah, sad but true. Are there any other products that give us sound reduction properties? 
Yes, Mappa Contact SRT is a double-sided foam tape with sound reduction properties. Okay, that's interesting. And are there any adhesives that also give us sound reducing properties? Yes, and some of our wood adhesives like Ultrabond Eco 985 and Ultrabond Eco 995 both trowel on with a single step. Okay, so let's summarize here. For crack isolation and some sound reduction, we have MoppaGuard 2. For higher sound reduction properties with some crack isolation, we have MoppaSonic 2. For a chrome rubber system, there's MoppaSonic RM. By the way, that comes in a two, a five, and a 10 millimeter thickness. We also get great sound reduction numbers from our wood adhesives, Ultrabond 985 and Ultrabond Eco 995. For sound reduction membrane, we have Mappa Contact SR. That's a wide variety of choices. You've given us a plethora of information about sound reduction and sound reducing products. Thanks for taking the time to walk us through the basics. You're welcome, Sam. And I encourage anyone who needs more information to drop by our website at www.mapay.com. Sounds good, and thanks again. I'm Sam. This is Sonia, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then make sure that you don't miss the next episode by clicking on the bell icon down below. Thanks again for watching this edition of MTI TV.